Howdy champs, my name is Moid and people today I'm going to demonstrate uh, something wonderful a very nice tool that facilitates the animation property in CSS uh, it's animate.css it's a library of preset animations uh, I've used that along with the animation, very powerful animation property in CSS. Uh, in fact, let's start off with the demonstration, the browser preview that is. Let's refresh. So you see what I have created is a bulleted list. It flies from the left onto the right and then goes back once it's actually done this way. Okay and then after all that is over I take the liberty to talk about potatoes in fact I'm uh, killing two birds with one stone uh, not only am I teaching you animate.css and the animation property in CSS I'm letting you into a very big secret that a potato only diet can work wonders for people who are obese this guy his name is Andrew and the other guy his name is Chris they went on and, and, and so many more people have actually tried it uh, these guys have gone on and all potato diet I think Chris had uh, gone uh, this this guy Chris has had used the all potato diet for 60 days he lost tons of weight and uh, Andrew has uh, it's been over 120 days I think I think he's, he's uh, probably vowed that he'll be on an all potato diet for one year and I think it's, it's an ongoing thing not to uh, not too sure but uh, let me tell you there's something miraculous about potatoes but you, you need to remember that you need to only take uh, 20 potatoes a day you can go um, you, you can you know up or down that but you're not allowed to add any uh, fat or any cream um, you're allowed to add condiments to the mashed or boiled potatoes uh, vinegars too that's okay okay now this this picture that you see out here I'm using the animation property and I'm uh, melting one picture into the other so basically I'm changing the background so through the animation property I'm changing the background and uh, through the animate.css it's a, a library of preset animations uh, see ready-made classes that you can use in your project for example let's see how rotate out looks like animated let's see how flip looks like beautiful let's see how fade out looks like no secrets there fade in down bounce out down mm. sliding entrances these are all ready-made classes that can be used in the CSS projects guys hinge animated see that there's so many of them and I've actually made use of these classes in my project you need to link your CSS uh, HTML document with this CSS library that you can download easily and that's that's you know I, I had used this library plus I had uh, um, used my own CSS apart from, over and above the library I've used uh, some uh, jQuery I've used the J latest jQuery library okay um, I mixed it all up and I I think I brought you something very useful I need to pause uh, for a minute guys 
Okay, there was a dog barking outside. I had to pause, and he can uh, come in again. Anyway, so um, see, if you go to Google and just say animate.css, this will be the first link. Open up the first link. Okay, and thereafter you can download animate.css library, and then you're gonna link it up with your HTML document. Okay now let me bring in the HTML document see the first part and I'd taken hours to you know look simple maybe but I'd taken hours uh, to complete this uh, you see I'm actually tied up with animate.css out here through the link tag relationship style sheet href or href attribute tying to animate.css and this is the local side folder where all the local assets are actually kept. These are the four pictures that uh, melt into each other. This is the animate.css library and this is the HTML document. This is the local side folder guys. Okay. So through the link tag I'm actually tying up with animate.css and down below out here after the st uh, internal styles through the script tag I'm actually tying up with HTTPS uh, whatever whatever uh, the jQuery library there right and you see total lines that I've used are just 46 courtesy animate.css open with sublime text just give me a sec yep so this is the enormous huge library with preset classes you have a pulse class out here you have a rubber band class out here and these classes can be used in your HTML projects guys uh, this video tutorial will run into two parts the first one is just a bird's eye view see I've used the class bounce in left here here out here and I've used a little bit of jQuery and I'm using the set timeout function I've used the bounce out left and I've used the add class method out here okay uh, I've used the animation property without using the animate.css also so basically I've used the library and I've done my own custom coding as well in animation with animation uh, property okay uh, this is the duration of the animation this is the delay of the animation alternate means going from picture 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 and then from 4 to 3 to 2 to 1 so that's how the pictures melt into each other and they alternate it's not 1 2 3 4 picture and then 1 2 3 4 and then 1 2 3 4 it's 1 2 3 4 4 3 2 1 1 2 3 4 you know it's 1 2 3 4 3 2 1 2 3 4 that way that's alternate infinite means going on forever so it may not be making too much of a sense if you're not aware of how the animation property actually works and we'll cover it in detail in the next and the, the concluding part okay so I have just uh, I have a UL list unordered list bulleted list okay and I've set some custom delay so basically um, over and above the uh, animate.css library I've tweaked it a little bit okay and yeah not at all uh, a big project guys I hope uh, I'll catch you up and you'll catch me up rather in the second part uh, I'd like to show you these two great guys Andrew Chris White uh, White I, I I'm not so sure how you're gonna pronounce his name and this this is Andrew Flinders uh, Andrew Taylor actually Flinders Taylor Spotfit challenge let me show you these four pictures 
these guys have gone on, on an all potato diet and this this guy lost a ton of weight so did so did Andrew okay 20 potatoes a day for 60 days this uh, experiment is up on YouTube uh, you can uh, check all potato diet Google it uh, check it on YouTube and you realize how useful it is for obese guys and look at the uh, before and after pictures of Andrew and Chris and you'll realize that this just has to work okay so th these guys created uh, quite a ripple and they showed the world you know that you can lose weight on on and all potato. in fact if you eat nothing but spuds or potatoes and rice you're still gonna lose weight and this breaks smashes the myth that carbs make you fat uh, in fact uh, guys sorry just gonna terminate the tutorial just, just before that I want to show you this picture I'm greatly inspired by Dr. McDougall's start solution and he says uh, the more rice corn potatoes sweet potatoes and beans we eat the trimmer more energetic and healthier we become and he, he advises that uh, we should not be eating like kings and queens if we eat like kings and queens we've got to bloat like kings and queens um, he suggests that we uh, don't consume a lot of meat dairy and poultry in fact I completely uh, avoid meat dairy and poultry I, I'm a vegan now uh, I was a vegetarian earlier and it works wonders for your health for uh, it helps you lose weight it just just works guys it's awesome it's amazing All right so the more rice corn put the more you eat like the common man the more you eat like uh, um, a guy who's not too privileged to eat nuts uh, uh, too much uh, fat you know the low fat vegan diet is the 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 real diet I, I was a guy deluded and uh, was high on protein and fats and just didn't work for me made me sicker until I became a vegan so I quit dairy I quit uh, eggs and I was never eating you know uh, I was never eating actually eggs and, uh, and meat I was a vegetarian and uh, I quit dairy completely and no milk no milk products also so I eat a lot of starches lead a lot of veggies and lead eat a lot of uh, fruits works wonders for me well it's got nothing to do with HTML CSS and you probably hear to um, you know know a lot more about the animate.css property and the animation property and uh, really how did I actually make this uh, animated bulleted list happen with the help of the animate.css library I tweaked it a little bit here and there okay so I hope to see you in the second part um, and I'll show you how easily it was done and it didn't take uh, too long to do it uh, in fact once you're done it doesn't take too long but uh, while I was actually experimenting it took uh, quite a lot of time uh, but now that I'm letting you know uh, it won't be too difficult at all so guys see you then bye bye peace